Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And this is my first impressions look on the Li Ning Superlight V2, right? So this shoe looks absolutely freaking amazing. Like the, the design looks great. And also this colorway is really, really dope. So as far as the retail price goes, it, it depends on the colorway. Right, and also the size, which is kind of weird. Uh, but you know, as far as the pricing goes, it ranges from one hundred thirty-nine dollars to one hundred and sixty-nine dollars. So it's a, it's kind of like mid-tier pricing. It uh, borderlines like premium pricing. So if you guys do want to cop, I try to leave a link in the description box. Uh, but let's get it started right off with the tractiones. And as far as the traction pattern goes, we have pretty much like a pivot circle here, uh, where the ball of your foot is, and it's kind of like a chaotic. It kind of like circles out of this like pivot circle right and it's kind of like a herringbone traction pattern here in the forefoot and also here in the heel and how does the traction feel so far i don't know what it is with leaning and also way of weight but the rubber compounds that they use are just sticky and it feels like it has an amazing bite so far right now so just trying it on my wood floors it has an amazing bite it has a nice little squeak to it as well you know pretty high pitch too of course it has nothing to do with performance i know it's just i like to have a nice little squeak you know So uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited about it. As far as the dust goes, obviously that's that's always a deciding factor, right? So if it does pick up a lot of dust, then obviously that does suck. But if it's good on dust and if it bites through dust really well, then uh, the traction, I feel like it's gonna be very, very good, right? As far as durability goes, durability seems really, really good. You know, as far as the surface area goes, there's a lot of rubber, right? There's a lot of grooves. And also the rubber is very hard. Uh, it's a very hard rubber and also the grooves are deep and thick. So uh, if you're gonna be playing on an outdoor court, you should be fine here uh, with this shoe, right? So the traction feels really good so far. And now moving on to the heel to toe transition. Also, it does feel very, very smooth, right? So here in the heel, we have a nice rounded shape and pretty much fully exposed foam. And then here in the forefoot, we have a nice curved shape and look, a lot and a lot of forefoot flex, which I really, really like just because uh, it has, it, it's not in the Eclipse plate, you know, Eclipse plate is what Jordan brand calls it, but um, I don't really know what Lean In calls it, right? Uh, but either way, it, it, the Eclipse plate that Jordan brand had, especially like in the Jordan uh, 34 and 35, it was absolutely stiff. You could not bend the forefoot at all, right? So I do like how, just in my personal uh, opinion, I like to have a very flexible forefoot if I can. If it was stiff, it feels a little bit more like stiff and rigid, you know what I mean? Which I don't like as much. If it has a little bit more flexibility, it just feels a lot smoother to me. So uh, heel to toe transition here in the Super Light V2 feels very, very smooth. And now moving on to the cushioning setup. So the cushioning setup, I feel like they try to uh, tone it down a little bit, right? Especially since they're trying to shed off a lot of weight, right? So as far as the foam goes, right? This yellow foam, uh, it's light foam plus. And it actually has a little bit of you know, compression is kind of soft, right? Especially here in the heel. The cord feel seems really, really good. Yeah, you're super duper low to the ground. And then we have, uh, I'm guessing here in the forefoot, we have a boom pot, right? So it's kind of hard to tell just because uh, tech specs, you know, aren't the best. You know, uh, it's different websites say different things and all that. So uh, I apologize if I'm wrong, but you can see the boom here in the forefoot, right? And uh, also one thing that I don't like, however, is there is no soft mesh strobo board, right? So the insole, the insole's okay. It just feels like a regular insole. It doesn't really improve step in comfort that much. And also if you look at the strobo board, the strobo board is actually uh, like a stiff strobo board. Um, especially where the arches, obviously because we have this Eclipse plate, and I think they're calling this the Pro Bar Lock, which is kind of like a midfoot chain plate, right? Obviously, uh, but well, where the heel and also where the forefoot is, it's actually quite stiff, which kind of does suck. So like in the forefoot, like where the boom pot is, there, it, it does feel kind of soft, but like compared to like a soft mesh strobe board, which Leaning does give us, especially like in the, in the CJ2, Right, obviously the CJ2 is also leaning, right? It has a soft mesh strobe, which is very, very nice. And also in the wave weights, you know what I mean? Which uh, wave weight is owned by leaning. So uh, that does kind of suck. I wish they would have used a soft mesh strobe because uh, this cushion does feel very low to the ground. And it does feel very minimal, right? So it does feel like it's gonna be a very responsive cushioning setup. I, I feel like, you know, 
probably the impact protection is going to be adequate and stuff like that uh, but step and cover not the best you know what i mean so uh, it'll probably be a very good shoe for guards but if you're looking for a crazy cushioning setup with like great impact protection or balance or compression obviously it just doesn't feel like uh, the shoe right uh, so there's that moving on to the materials so they're calling this the boom fiber which is pretty interesting right so yeah, it's like a boom silk upper they're calling it different things which is kind of weird but it's pretty much they're calling it a boom upper right which is weird because this is also boom so <laughs> Uh, anyways, it's pretty much just like a, a, a mesh material, right? And look, you, you can see how open it is. Look at that, right? So it is multi-layered, right? So you can see different layers of mesh, but super duper thin. And uh, ventilation seems freaking amazing, right? <sighs> Airflow is really, really good through this material. So I also look at that very very thin material right super duper thin it doesn't feel like crazy glued down or rigid either it doesn't really stretch all too much too so uh, it does feel supportive but also it conforms to your foot extremely extremely well we do have some fuse right going around the like kind of the edge of the toe box a little bit i wish it was a little bit more towards the edge you know if you're doing toe drags it does give you a little bit more durability but still feels pretty good and then here in the midfoot it stays extremely extremely thin and also they're calling this it's like a carbon fiber cloth right which is kind of weird you can see a little bit of that carbon fiber like pattern uh, i mean they're saying that it's for lateral containment like lateral support so i guess it does feel pretty pretty rigid there but Either way, I don't really think that does all too much. And as far as the tongue goes, the tongue, there's a, like an average amount of padding like on top of the tongue right here. And then underneath that, we have a very, very open mesh. Look at that. So a crazy good ventilation. It's also a half booty construction tongue, giving you a better overall one-to-one -one fit, right? So it keeps the tongue in place and all that. And then here in the ankle area, also crazy minimal padding, right? So like on the sides, there's a little bit like on top and then also like in the Achilles, there's, it's pretty minimal. And then this yellow part, right? This yellow material, it's kind of like a scratchy material, right? But only when you go up, right? So I'm, I'm guessing this will kind of like help grab your sock a little bit and improve lockdown a little bit because it does, it's kind of like a shark skin, right? So when you go one way, it's smooth. Like when you go down, uh, but then when you go up, it's kind of rough. So that'll probably help a little bit with like <laughs> containment, you know, but for the most part, uh, it does, I don't really feel like you know, there's any heel slippage or anything, but also this material feels really, really nice. If you, if you want, obviously if you want something cozy, if you want something like, like thick and stuff like that, you know, as far as like the foam and the material goes, uh, this obviously isn't the best option. But if you're looking for a minimal material, which does feel uh, supportive overall right now and has very, very good ventilation, then this is a great option. It almost kind of reminds me of Lenawee. You know what I mean? There's some like plastic strands. It's kind of like interwoven between some other materials. You know what I mean? So I do like the materials, right? And moving on to the fit, I went up half a size and this shoe fits me really, really well, right? It pretty much fits me like a glove. It fits me perfectly. So for most people, right? If you want a pretty snug fit, I will suggest going up half a size, right? If you go true to size, it'll be a really, really snug fit. So I guess if you have like a really skinny foot or you want a really snug fit, then go true to size. But for most people, I will suggest going up half a size. If you have a wide foot however um probably go up a full size or maybe a full size and a half if you want a really really roomy fit right because this is a really snug fit and i went up half a size so uh, here in the toe box it feels snug and i do like that i do have a feeling that this uh, boom fiber material is going to stretch out just a tiny bit however once i break it in but for the most part it's a snug toe box here also width wise i would say it is slightly narrow it's a pretty snug fit width wise and lengthwise like i said i went up half a size and it fits me really well lengthwise right so it's a very very good fitting shoe for me and also we have a very high heel tab here it's making the shoe super easy to slide on so uh yeah fit very very good and now moving on to the supporting lockdown look at all the lateral counters right so here as far as the uh, like at the edge of the toe box we have the outsole coming up acting as a sidewall i guess and also we have the foam acting as a sidewall here in the forefoot uh, we also have this like plastic piece coming up a little bit acting as a sidewall too and we have this kind of like plastic piece and also carbon fiber uh, like the carbon fiber cloth here in the midfoot and then here in the heel we also have the foam coming up acting as a sidewall and it seems like there's an, a pretty stiff internal tpu heel counter so lateral containment feels like it's gonna be very good and also lateral stability look at that 
you know it's a very very wide outrigger very wide shoe here on the lateral side here in the forefoot so lateral stability feels like it's gonna be good too so uh support and lockdown feels like it's gonna be great and also something i'm very very curious about is the weight just because this shoe is literally called super light it's called the super light v2 it's a version 2 so um it feels extremely light i'm guessing like 10 11 ounces Ooh, 11 ounces on the dot let's check the other shoe 11.1 ounces right so the average weight of my shoes is around 12 and a half ounces so yeah 11 ounces is, is extremely extremely light it's actually might be one of the lightest shoes right now available uh, if i remember correctly one uh what was the lightest shoe i don't remember what the lightest shoe was but i remember the weight and i think it was like 11.1 11.2 ounces so this definitely does beat that and it feels very very minimal as far as the upper goes and it feels really light on foot too and you feel low to the ground so far and if the traction holds up if it's a top tier traction i'm really really gonna enjoy playing this shoe right so uh, there's that and as far as the aesthetics go i mean yeah this shoe looks absolutely amazing tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below and yes i know leaning kind of like bit jordan brand with the eclipse plate but i still love how this looks you know what i mean so Anyways, there's the aesthetics there. And as far as like everything goes, wrapping things up, yes, this shoe is looking real good so far. Uh, leaning just is killing it. Leaning, uh, as far as the prices go, it's definitely expensive, which sucks. Um, especially since they have to do like import taxes, I feel like, you know, uh, because they're selling it in China and they have to import it. And it does make the shoe overall more expensive, which I feel like they should just uh, make a US company, you know what I mean? But I, either way, it feels really, really good. You know, the only thing that sucks is the price is kind of expensive, but the traction feels good. The cushion feels really responsive, but also like it feels like it's going to be good for impact protection. Materials, super thin, very, very lightweight shoe as well. Support feels good. So it feels like it's going to be a very responsive shoe. And it also feels like it's going to be a very good uh, shoe for guards, which I do like. So uh, yeah, my first impressions of the Super Light V2 are very, very good. And I'm super duper excited to try it out. Uh, again, if you guys do want to cop, I try to leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.